I know that will. back air will kill you at like 80. Yep. I know that these characters are not the quickest on the ground, but it doesn't really matter because they have the laser Dude. of doom. Dude, in this matchup, we should see stocks flying, especially if both of them have their edge guards, edge guards on point. And in this matchup, edge guarding is going to be that wicked down smash with his so far below the ledge. So if we can force each other to recover low with the up B, that's going to be a pretty much a free punish. We're going to get right into it on Pokemon Stadium 2. This is Cade versus Viva. Okay, big fighter. Right into it, okay. That dash attack is so strong. You're able to get so much off of the single map. You get the down throw on the dash attack. Oh! Like that, look at that. Already and flying. It, was, it wasn't at the ledge, but Kate definitely catching the bad landing right in front of his face with the down smash. His stock really needed, and he's got such a substantial lead right here. Oh, oh God! You said it, dude. Flying. Already. Yeah, he's catching uh, Rem, jumping in, or Kate, excuse me, jumping, uh, using the side beat, not angling it downwards to uh, try to snap the ledge properly. Landing onto the stage is going to be a free forward smash for Ren, bringing it right back. Cade still with the momentum in his favor, attacking on all this percent. As far as I know, the side beat doesn't immediately latch on the snap, but it does not. But you can angle it. Uh, there's three different angles that you can use Wolf Flash at. There's the upward angle, the neutral angle, which is towards the middle, and the downward angle. So depending on where you are off stage, you want to angle it one of those three to get a uh, faster snap. Because if you angle it too high, you're either going to la land on the stage or it's going to take longer for you to snap. Yeah, definitely. There are some players out there, like uh, I don't know if Kanan's here, I don't think he oh. is. But uh, he makes it look like you can just get straight onto it. He makes it look like an actual okay. snap. I mean, you you pretty, pretty much can, but it just does not completely auto snatch. So there is always the room to punish. And a great back air coming up from Rem, who has taken so much damage, 155% in fat, has now a lead, but he's got to put on some extra percent before he can actually get away with it. And he is. Yeah, uh, 20%. Uh, and it still clips through the ledge, too. It's so beautiful. Oh, 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 he dashed away. I would have loved to have seen a down smash right there. That's where you the moment where you want to see uh, Wolf just charging down smash, especially on these linear recoveries uh, when your opponent's going low. Just sit there, charge down smash, time your release to get that two frame. So I guess you could say Wolf loses to Wolf. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Big time. Yeah. Big time loses to Wolf. Oh my god, and dash attack. And that dash attack, I've seen it kill off the top. I've seen it kill off the side like it just did. It just does yeah. I mean, so much. At high enough percent, it, ki it kills no matter what. It's going to kill off, off the top mostly. It depends on which hitbox you're getting, the inner hitbox or the, uh, the outer hitbox. Or I should say the starting hitbox or the late hitbox. Um, but yeah, Rem already oh. in a, still in a good lead right here. Cade forced to recover. Oh, okay. Uh, missing the ledge get up attack. Ooh, and getting a trip. Okay. Getting a little bit of the center stage. Oh, I didn't get the cross up though. That probably wouldn't have been a good thing for him anyway. Alright, Rem shooting some lasers right here. I like how patient he's being at the ledge. A back air from Cade gonna knock him off stage though. You can see Cade, the, the gears are turning. He's looking for that down smash at the ledge. He made it, not, didn't need it. The first two stocks, but he's gonna save it for the last one. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, he was misspaced a little bit. Uh, if he had walked forward a little bit more, I think the timing would have been just right. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ooh. there we go. <laughs> you gotta be careful how you jump in, especially against Wolf. And I think you should know if you're a Wolf player yourself, you're well aware of the options that your opponent has as a Wolf player. There was so much gasoline in the uh, the first like 30 seconds of that game. Absolutely. Both of them lost their stocks already. And you play Wolf yourself? I do. I Wolf, you played a Wolf Ike is too. my main character. Uh, I mean, I haven't touched Ike since actually that like first MSM that we were playing from the game. So. Oh. <laughs> no, I still play Corrin. I play other characters. Mo mostly Wolf, but that's not going to matter too much. I mean, I guess it kind of matters because Wolf is the character on the screen. But let's see if we're going to see any character switches from uh, Kate. Was it Kate or Rem? I don't even know. Wolf. <laughs> it was Wolf. Wolf won. Yeah. All right, Kate and Rem. Levi. We'll score, Levi. Score. Yeah, Kate. Oh, yeah, Rem is the, uh, the tag down below. So Levi going to go down. One game here against Kate. Kate is blue because I've been uh, having a little bit of trouble distinguishing between the two, but now I'm now I'm completely on point with it. Yeah, that's why I've been calling him Rem because I've just been looking at the name. May as well. Uh, right now. 
Look at this. Okay. And that's so safe. And like I've seen a lot of people just kind of wait after the, the wolf forward smash to see what they do afterwards and then just start punishing them for whatever option that they throw out. Oh, the clink. For sure. I mean, you always want to wait uh, to see what the wolf is doing after the forward smash because it has so little end lag that usually the forward smash is not even a uh, punish tool, more of a bait tool. So they're going to wait to see. And it's like, oh, you think you have a, a moment to punish me, but not really. And uh, Levi's sitting at 112%. He finds this. Oh, no, that's bait. Uh, barely missing that. Like, he went under the wolf, but he didn't really get much out of it. Uh, I don't need so much of the dash on that. He's probably trying to read an option. Okay, neutral air from Rem. He tries to find a grab on the roll out. Uh, that would have been kind of nice. He could have sent Cade back on stage, and he's going to need that, especially at this percent deficit right now. 146 to 107. Cade shooting back some lasers, getting the grab on the uh, grab punish on the shield. I mean, forward air on shield. Look at this. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Got extra pummels. Go for the back throw. In that back throw, I see a lot of people just kind of wait and bite their time at that back throw Ooh. until they get a sweet position onto the map. Yeah. I mean, at a high enough percent, like, uh, that back throw is going to kill anyways because it sends mostly upwards and not so much to the side. So more often than not, it's killing off the top. Yeah, that's where I see people killing. Okay, dash attacks, I think, straight up. Rep trying to find this up air. That's a really good follow-up, but at such a high percent that Cade is at, it's really hard to actually uh, get any follow-up. Uh-oh. All right. Okay, that was a good nair. And you know, oh, my goodness. Yeah. He's going right through it. Yeah, absolutely, man. The, go, the wolf flash just eating up the down smash attempt. If Cade had let go of the down smash a little bit earlier, it may have actually beat out the wolf flash, but it's something to be careful about, especially uh, against that move. But Cade sealing out the stock with a back air and uh, is still firmly in the lead here. Uh, sometimes I feel like Wolf's one of those characters you really have to test your DI skills on because like all of his moves kill you in so many different trajectories. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, DI is always an important factor uh, in any matchup. If you DI improperly, there's a lot of setups people think uh, are killing, but they're not actually killing. There's improper DI throughout the combo, throughout the uh, throughout the finishes. And some things that aren't usually real become real just because, ah, you were ignorant. Caught you being ignorant. Yeah, absolutely. Cade at 95% here, still holding on to his second stock. He's off stage. Okay, Levi, nice. he's his charge. Start charging some of these down smashes by less an up smash. I think that may have been the first one I've seen. I see Cade going for a lot of cross ups too. Uh, it seems to be about like 50 50 with them. Okay, good recovery. Uh, that roll to get back on stage. Cade with a dash attack trying to find a follow up. All right, gotta, gotta clean up these inputs. Get a pack, uh, kind of stopping Cade in his tracks, and that air still not enough. He's gonna up B. Yep. And uh, Rem, he's been, uh, anytime Kate is off stage, he's been kind of opting to uh, hold down the stage. Yeah. But not really applying much pressure. He should be throwing out like F tilts mm. to uh, force some sort of uh, get up. But usually he's just letting Kate get back to the stage for free, which is showing a lot in the lead that he has 142% on Rem. And you know, you, when you bring that point up, there's nothing inherently wrong about that, but if you do it every single time, it starts to become a little bit prevalent in his play. You start to see what he's doing, and then he gets that bullet. Yeah. Catching uh, Levi just uh, jumping in and throwing out any of the attacks. Uh, not really Those like, chairs looking empty. for the spacing, yeah. Quick, <laughs> with was, the quickness. Man. That was so bad. No one, yeah, he, no one wants to be seen losing the wolf ditto, man. That's, that's, a, that's a pride. That's a that, that's a, a blow to the pride right there. Yeah, I guess so. But you can't you can't feel too bad. I mean, Wolf really messes up Wolf. <laughs> so, uh, did you say blow to the pride is like an intentional pun? No. 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 Just own it. Just own it. Yes, you did. I literally was not trying to make a pun at all. Well, that was a good pun. Well, I don't know what you're talking. About.